Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Spyro Reignited Trilogy Let's Play on my channel every everyone, where we are now going to be doing, or moving on to, Spyro Year of the Dragon, or Spyro 3 as I call it. Obviously, it has been a few months since I did my uh, Spyro 2 Let's Play, so here we go with Spyro Year of the Dragon. Now, I'm not too sure how well this Let's Play is going to go, because obviously Gear of the Dragon is a lot longer, and the levels there are a lot more complex, but anyway, wish me luck, everybody. I mean, I've played through this game so many times uh, before. I mean, I mean now I know the ins and outs of the game. I mean, <laughs> Year of the Dragon, I didn't really play till 2018, believe it or not. So, okay, everybody, so we're going to jump straight into Spyro, Year of the Dragon, Reignited. So... Let's do this. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Yeah. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with this opening cutscene. Now, one thing I will say real quick is I kind of like how the opening cutscene is now in the Artisan's world, which I've, I've always found really cool since the release of Reignited. So, obviously, we've got uh, the uh, Artisan's home there. And we also have a bit of Spyro 1 music at the start, which is pretty cool. So, anyway, here we are in Sunrise Spring, which... I'm going to say it does look a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place with the mountains and the rocks and stuff like that. So anyway, in this part everyone, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going round, collecting all of the, uh, the gems in this home world right here. I mean, you know, it's fully complete, this home world. I think in this part, I mean, I've showed the introduction. We might have time to do Sheila's Alp. I mean, 
obviously I don't want to make these parts too short as well as too long so what we'll do is we'll see how we're doing for time and if not we might do a, a Sheila's help as well so if not I'll do that in the next part don't think there's any more gems around here now finding the gems in this game is pretty tricky I'm not gonna lie I mean obviously got to try to find them or we'll find out where they are so anyway um, what we're going to do is we're going to rescue our first egg, our first first dragon. So here we go with that. Isabel. And I just thought I'd show you real quick. The pause menu is now orange or red. I think it's more orange. It could be like, a, I mean, it's orange and red. I mean, in Spyro 1 it was purple and in Spyro 2 it was blue. So... I'd have thought that I'd put blue in this game and and the red or orange in Spyro 2 to suit Ripto and Sorceress colours. But obviously not. That is pretty strange that they decide to do that, but anyway. Hi Spyro. To look left or right, use the right stick. To quickly center the camera behind you, tap the center camera button. You can also look all around by pressing the action button. Of which I can't do any of that because I am playing on original controls. And I mean, classic controls are better for me. Oh, and here comes Bianca. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. And obviously I'm just going to give you a minute to take a guess of what the enemies are in this game. So, I'm just going to get these gems around here. And of course, the enemies in this game are indeed, if you guessed it right, Rhinox. Which is a, a little different. I mean, they had Nox, so a bit similar Rhinox, like Rhino Nox. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Hunt the money bags again. Capitalist, Republican, Conservative, money bags. Spyro, my my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. 300 gems, which I should be able to get in this home world, I believe is 400 if I'm not mistaken. I mean, what a traitor is money bags. I mean, what is he even doing? I mean, it's like a lovely woman? A sorceress? You're in it for the money, dude. Honestly, I know your tricks. And really, you're going to let her go for some cash? Seriously, money bags? Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Press the X button to jump, and then press X again to mid-flight glide. So, obviously, you can hover in this game, which you couldn't do in the. Uh, you can't do in Spyro One, which I keep trying to do in Spyro One. But it doesn't it ultimately does not work. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Yep, so just glide to hover. I mean hovering. I mean it is not the spiral one. That's all I've got to remember. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Coltrane. <laughs> Coltrian, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go, so that's Hunter all the uh, challenge done on out of the way. So obviously this cave section. This is super fly power up, Spyro. 
Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Yep, so. What we're going to do first before we do that is we're going to clear out all the gems, because I am aiming to get all of the gems in this section first. I mean, that is what I'm hoping to get done. I mean... Obviously you can't get out of there because we need to have a super fly power up. Now apparently there is a trick to go uh, where you can fly up here. Now I've never managed to get it to work in it in Reignited. It just sort of like takes the timer off you. But it does work in the original. Although it does take quite a bit of practice to get used to. I mean I have seen it in Spiral Speedruns. You know like the ISGP and the Spiral Speedrunning Cup. So. And here we have Amy. Which is one of the characters from the Nitro Tour in, well, the na same named character. Obviously, it's not her, but you uh, sort of like get what I mean. Obviously, we have some uh, some lives up here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back around and get those. Because, I mean, even though we probably don't need the lives because I don't die very much. Now, I know I'm showing off when I said that, but <laughs> I mean, I might as well get them just for the fun of it. So, anyway, here we go with the fly power up. Honestly, I'm going to say this now. The PC version of Spiral Reignited Trilogy is currently out, and I've got to say that I'm pretty impressed with that 60 FPS. And it's only one life anyway, I mean, what, what, what was the point? I thought there was like three up there, but obviously not. No, I'm thinking of Magna Cone, like sort of like off to the side, uh, before you go down the, the elevator. Or the lift, as we say in the UK, or England, or uh, Australia, yeah, obviously. America uses the word elevator, so. Such a good home world to explore this. I mean, this is why Spyro is such a solid game. I mean, I'd love to see a fourth Spyro game be released, and hopefully it will happen very soon in the near future. And a huge cluster of sheep. I don't understand why they decided to put loads of fodder in this, like, one area here. I mean, that's always been sort of, like, really strange. And he's got stuck in the vase. What? I'm sorry, but I had to kill you. You should not have been stuck in the base. Here we go. Head bash, that rock. Now, that is a that is a dragon, Liam. I couldn't find as a kid. It always, like, took me a long time to find it, but... <laughs> hey, I managed to find it at the end, so that's pretty... Cool like that. Anyway, here's Hunter. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface. And charge underwater by holding down charge as well. Press the square button to die. Now, you do not want to get your fur all wet. Well, how about getting your fur all burnt? Now, that is lazy. You just expect a dragon to get his scales all wet. Well, that's a bit selfish, don't you think, Hunter? <laughs> well, as a fall, I thought that as a kid anyway, but... <laughs> And my voice doesn't sound too good because my throat is playing up every time I want to do a let's play. So here we go, rescue Bruce. So I believe that's all of the dragons rescued from Sunrise Spring now, so. Just check there's no more gems under here. And I believe the last few gems are just in here, so uh, we've nearly got it completed. I know, here we are, we've got Spyro. I've got a task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. Right, this is pretty like, I mean... I mean, you got Sparks missions, so you can play as different characters in this game, which is pretty cool. Even though I'm not a fan of the different characters, just like the vehicle levels in Crash Warped. But, you know, it is there as an option, and it's a nice addition. Anyway, in this section here, in the original game, you would get a prompt if you were playing a copied disc. Where he'll say, I'm sorry Spyro, but it appears you are playing a hacked version of this game. You may experience some technical issues, as this may be an illegal copy. Uh, please play a legal copy to have the best experience, or something like that, but <laughs> that was always like scared me. I'll I tell you now, I had that as a kid because I did not have a legit copy, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I did later on, so I mean, I sort of like, haven't done something super illegal because I actually did do it in the end, but... 
That's why I couldn't complete Spyro free for all those years, because it causes the game to break and fills it with glitches. And I told a lie, because there's more gems up here. Hey, here we go. That's all 400 gems. And that's 100% of the level completed, so... Anyway, here we go. We have a... Uh, obviously, I need 20 eggs to unlock the speedway. We need 14 for Seashell Shore. And we also need to have a uh, 10. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hitch. Ten eggs required to open the portal, so... Anyway, uh, we'll speak to this one, because we might as well speak to all of the non-playable uh, characters. So. Here I was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, when my portal just up and disappears right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal would start working again. 14 eggs, so. Yep, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to start searching and collecting some dragon eggs. Now, fortunately, you don't have to spend dragon eggs, but I mean, obviously, you do need to do that uh, as otherwise. So, obviously, in the next part, what we are going to be doing is. I don't think there's a skill point for here, no, it's Sunny, uh, it's sunny Villa, so. What we're going to do in the next part is we're going to be doing Sheila's Out. So, I think I'm going to leave it for this part because obviously, in starting with Spyro. Two let's play, I only did Glimmer, so obviously this has been uh, part one of my Spyro uh, 3 Reignited Trilogy Let's Play everybody, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this part, and thank you so much for watching, I will indeed see you all in Sheila's Alp.